Hello everybody, this is the first elf and safety story I ever wrote. It was meant to be a song, I couldn't find a tune for it, so I read it out and it went down well and I've been writing them ever since. It's called Mrs Spellman, the Aliens and the Elf Department. Here we go. Mrs Dottie Spellman lives somewhere down your street. She keeps a tidy garden in a privilege edge that's neat. She does? Oh yes. She likes to watch the world go by in her mirror, by the way. She has three duckies on the wall that never fly away. One day our Mrs. Stelp Spellman was standing by the sink. She looked down her long backyard and almost took to drink. She did? Oh yes. She thought she'd seen some aliens outside the potting shed. She gave herself a foo-foo pill and went upstairs to bed. The next day she was up again and feeling like herself, she went to her directory and rang the public elf. She did? Oh yes. She said, please do come quickly. I have aliens everywhere. They've been digging up me gladdies and I'm feeling in despair. I sent Rex out to worry them, but he came in with a wail. A dog that chases everything is lost without his tail. He is? Oh, yes. They ate up all the cat food when they came in through the door. I'm sure that I will top myself if they come back once more. Dave said, Well, now, I'm sorry, madam. We have no one to spare. Our men are all out sniffing drains. There's a problem, so beware. There is? Oh, yes. I'm sure you're bound to catch one. You can bang it on the head. Place it in a dustbin and then put it in your shed. If you succeed in doing this, we'll come round straight away. I hope that's true, said Mrs S. Me hair is turning grey. It is? Oh, yes. She wasn't very happy about those things from outer space. He told her straight she'd have to wait. This was a huge disgrace. And at the public health department, another week went past. They'd settled down to crosswords to help their week go fast. They had? Oh, yes. They thought they'd heard a ringing sound as a telephone rang out. You phoned last week, so tell me, dear, just what's it all about? said Mrs S. I'm ringing up to tell you I've done what you have said. I've gone and caught an alien. It's in me garden shed. It is? Oh, yes. You said you'd send a man along to see what you could do. Now I'll, I'll keep you to your promise if it's all the same to you. They sent out an inspector who could handle some old dears. He was feeling rather shaky in spite of his long years. He was. Oh, yes. He knew our Dottie very well. He'd been many times before. She took him to the potting shed where he opened up the door. He trembled by the dustbin. There he lifted off the top. Two saucer eyes peered back at him. He let the cover drop. He did? Oh, yes. Uh, now, madam, I should tell you, we must take your bin away. We're sure to find out what this is. Uh, we're sorry, by the way. Uh, it's OK, Mr Wheeler. Our dot began to smile. Perhaps you'd like a cup of tea. I've not seen you for a while. You would? Oh, yes. It's nice of you to come around to change from all those drains. You're sure to act more quickly, lest anyone complains. Oh, I suspect you may be wondering about the alien friends. Big saucer eyes and chasing dogs were not such pleasant trends. You are? Oh, yes. It seems a local pet shop that couldn't make ends meet had set free all their animals to roam on every street. In his office, our inspector was researching this strange plot. He examined all the aliens and found that they were not. They weren't? Oh, no. They leapt out from the dustbin and settled down to munch. The chinchillas from the pet shop had gobbled Mr Wheeler's lunch. They did? 
Okay.